Hello friends. So, I guess it's time for another random building talk. I haven't been posting a lot lately. And I think it would be nice to share a little bit more with uh, well, all of you. So, as you can see, this is uh, the town I have been working on. It hasn't changed much since last time I added a couple storefronts to the, the main street. But all of them are actually empty inside. I'm just working out on the, the overall look and feel of the street. And I think I want to add another strip of five buildings you know, in this, in this lane. I'm going to probably move this over a little bit more. Um, but I, I guess I'll share with you guys how or what my process is for making one of those lanes. So we're going to open up building editor. I'm going to make a new building. Uh, I, I tend to always start with tw uh, 20 by 20 tiles just because it gives enough space to do uh, whatever you want to do, basically. So we're going to hit OK. And in this case, I already know that the buildings are going to be 9 wide by 12. Um, you can see the exact measurements of what you're drawing down below. So that gives me a good size. And I know I want two floors and another floor. And then this one is going to be the corner building. So I'm going to name this store. Oh, let's go to the right. Uh, floor, store 11. Uh, put that to the side for a second and just drop it in there. So we know what we're working with. I'm not sure if this actually is going to line up the way it is, but this is going to face that. So I'm, I'm sure of that part. And like the other one, there's a restaurant in there and then maybe there's a restaurant on the water. Do we want another restaurant? I am, I'm not so sure. Maybe we we'll want a building with like a big balcony on the back for the apartment above and just have a regular store downstairs. I think that would be, uh, would be interesting. So we're going to drop the building editor back in. I'm going to take this out real quick, something like that. Or actually, maybe we can make it even more interesting. Maybe do it in the front. No, I want, sorry, I want the, the street side to be all, all buildings. But we can have it open up in the back. I guess that would be a cool balcony. Maybe something like that. No, maybe we'll just keep it square. Let's keep it square for now, just keep it boring. We're gonna go down. Okay, so how do I do the outside of a building? I tend to start with the exterior wall because it opens up uh, what I wanna go for. Uh, in this case, I wanna go for something that I haven't really used. I think this one, nah, it's not gonna work. I tend to use a lot of bricks in this street. So I think we'll just stay with the bricks. And then for the trim, because all of the houses in the street have a trim, so for the trim, maybe that one will work, because that looks pretty nice. So this side of the wall, we're not gonna bother with, because nobody's gonna see it, because there's gonna be another building over there. But the other side, there's gonna be like a parking, or like a plaza, and then this is gonna be the front of the store. So there's gonna be a lot of windows, because cars will be driving by, and pedestrians will uh, hopefully walk by. And you know, it's a zombie game, so most of them will be dead, but you get my point. So I'm gonna go for exterior walls and I'm gonna go look, no, I don't wanna open that window. I just wanna go look for a window and let's stick with tiles that everybody has for now. And for the trim, I'm gonna do the same trim on the bottom to tie it together. So I can do full size. I think that will look nice. We can do one by one. I think that looks better. And we're just gonna make this one bigger so that when we add a door, we want to add a little bit more of an interesting shopping door. So let's do the bigger one. And for the door frame, we're going to go to, with the, the black one. Uh, it actually doesn't have. All right, so then we'll do this and then that and then that one. Mm, do I like it? It looks decent. It doesn't look half bad. So we'll, we'll go with this. Because that looks all right. Press H real quick to just see the bottom floor. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Maybe we don't want a door on this side. Maybe we want to mirror the door on that side to this side. So that would make it look more interesting. So then we go to interior walls. And basically we're just going to do the same thing. Where is
is the right one. I messed up. Did it not again? So commercial two, um, trim interior walls. I'm gonna go for the green. Oh, that it has bricks. I don't want it to have bricks. Then we'll go for the white one, and then we'll do the same one by one pattern. And then in the middle we'll have uh, a frame. In the wall section, we'll add a white frame. Yeah, I think that will look better with the white walls and all. Then we'll go to door frames, select none, and then I'm going to use my own custom doors, so you will not have these, but there should be alternatives to these doors. But I think that looks cool. Actually, I think for the windows or the doors, the, no, the, the window walls. We'll actually use a different one on the inside, which is also custom, but that will look better with the frame like that. So that's kind of cool. I like that. That looks cool from the inside and the outside. So maybe we want a, a office space on top. I didn't really do any office spaces just yet. So maybe we'll just copy the same thing. And then if we do another exterior trim, we can use the regular ones, which kind of matches. Like that. And then for the inside, I think we don't want to have the same trim because that's boring. So maybe take the ugly yellow one. And when I say ugly, I mean, yeah, I mean ugly. I don't like it. Um, if this place is an office, we'd need a door somewhere going up. It's probably going to be on that side. I don't like the way that this is turning out. Maybe something like that. I guess that could work. So upstairs, light brown. Maybe take the worn down wooden one and create a hallway. We'll drop in another door there with a white frame. I think that's just gonna be actually I think good reason to use now. Let's use one of the regular doors. Um yeah, so that works. We're gonna add the hallway to this section as well, except for that part. Maybe something like that. And then we're gonna add another floor with, now this is gonna be a bit tricky because I don't wanna add a roof on top of this straight away because that's just gonna look like this. And that looks very, very dull. What I wanna do is create a little bit of an illusion like this because the player's not gonna be able to get up there, but it would be fun to be able to see that from the outside and actually see that there is a little bit of a, a height difference. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. <coughs> um, okay, so you go to tile mode. Oh wait, first we're just gonna draw on the roof because that's the easy part. Draw it in like that, very simple. Go to tile mode, go to, I think this one was in commercial. Basically, you want to look for the trim that matches the rest of your walls and just draw that one on top, like so. Oh, I messed up there. Like that. And then you can see that there's a little gap right here that looks ugly. Like, And you cannot put a tile there then it's going to cover the entire square. So the best solution to fix that, you just take the trailer bottom, put in whatever layer you want, I put in a floor overlay, and just put that on top, all around. And that gives you a nice little area. I'm going to go to the details for the walls, and then we may want to do like this one, and to the roof. And you can 
place this anywhere because the player is never going to be able to interact with it. And when I say interact, I mean he's not going to be able to move on the third floor in this space. So this should always look the same. Don't do these tricks when the player is able to get to the same level because then it may look odd with you know the player moving under it and stuff. But in this case, I think we'll be fine. And that just makes it look a little bit better. Now, the best way to make your roof even better is to add a little bit of grime. And that's a very simple, easy trick I think you should all do. I'm not saying you should grime up every fucking roof. But in general, roof grime helps sell the effect of it being a bit of a roof. And that's it. That's how you do the outside of a building. It's pretty quick. It's a very square building. There's nothing interesting going on there. But as I line them out and put more stuff in there, I think it will work. Actually, let me do let me add some curtains. I'm going to add window blinds. These are also from my, my pack. So if you want to do uh, download the uh, uh, custom tiles, oh, I hope I don't forget to put a link in the description. Do one close and do the other ones open like that. I think that looks cool. Now we can do the same thing for the uh, for the other ones like that. Then later on we'll worry about the inside. So in this case, I'm going to add another one. Oh wait, maybe we should shrink it down first. Craft at a minimum. Oh right, the minimum is far away because the tiles up top, you know, the trim, those are actually placed on, on this lane. That's why it cannot be trimmed any smaller. That's also why I start with a bigger frame to work with and scale it down later instead of limiting myself from the get-go. Because it may, you know, limit your creative process. So, another building, 20 by 20 store 12. Now this building is going to be a little bit more unique because I want to line them up next to each other like the ones I've been doing here. Now the trick to doing this is that the building more um, further away from the camera so up north or uh, you know west needs to be placed down first and then the, the uh, follow-up building gets placed after that. So that's why I'm working right to left instead of left to right because this building for example this building has the outside frame of this building because the moment I line them up together that frame overrides the actual wall from this building so the moment I line them up this wall is not going to be there anymore so this building needs to take care of that same goes for all of these so that's why if I move this one away the actual trim to make it look a bit higher is on this building. So that's a, a nice trick to keep in mind. And that's why we'll also do a quick building for this side. So we're going to add another 9 by 12. There we go. Another floor. Do the same thing. I could have co copied it because there was nothing down there. And then add the roof. In this case, we're just going to at I think it's a different one maybe I'm not sure um, let me think let me think commercial make it a bit bigger again I think it wasn't two so we need to do the same th well actually you don't need to do it on the other building but in this case you know for the purpose of showing you guys I am doing it on both um, the floor I don't need to do, the wall overlay for the trailer I do need to actually put that in, I think. I'm going to save it real quick and just throw it in there. That's why just it, it's easy to just go back and forth. So I'm not sure why half of it is working and the other half isn't. Alright, because these are placed down here somewhere in front of the building. So the, these other ones are actually placed inside the tiles or cells that I'm actually using already 
that's why they're being overwritten and not being used. So, and then the floor overlay I don't need to do because it's on a lower level. It's actually on the tile on the other side. I just need to do the trim, which I cannot do. So that's an easy fix. I just go back into this one, go to the roof, and just get rid of it. I'll just save that. That looks good. That looks like a good finish of this entire thing. Now, of course, we're not going to leave the other building white, just plain white wood. We're going to make it more interesting. I think I want to go for the bigger brick or the bigger tiles or stones or whatever you want to call them. And then maybe take this one. Sure, I like that. I like that look. I think I forgot this in the other building. I'd run to the, to the base. And then we're going to have a door for the apartments upstairs, which will line up with the one next to it. So maybe we should add the same door so it will uh, match a bit better. And then we'll have a little door with a different frame there. And then we'll have some windows. We'll have some windows. Shit. Of course, the like draw wall tool first. Then we'll have some windows. That's the, like the third time I said it. I think we can do it with this. And that one instead. There we go. That kind of sells the front of the stores. Now, some window tiles actually overwrite the crime. But it's not a hard trick to just go into tile mode, go to the grime for the walls, and just add those yourself. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. And that fixes that for you. It's very simple, very quick fix. And then up top, we're going to have a couple of windows. I think the basic window is fine. And let's do one, one. One, one, and of course, then we go to grime floor and we put some grime on the roof. Save that, go back, and that looks pretty decent. Now, of course, you want to detail this up with like banners and stuff because none of these are actually finished. They're just plain shapes trying to get a feel for how the buildings are going to look. But that's the way I like to do it. Like uh, in, in game development, the guys that make levels, you know, the level designers, they tend to do like gray boxing and white boxing and just try to put in some shapes and make, well, something that they think looks interesting before going into detail. I think that's a good approach to doing stuff in Project Zomboid as well. Because if you put a shit ton of detail into something and then it turns out not to be you know, working or the way you want to, you will have to redo a whole bunch of work and that just sucks. I think that's it for this video. I'm gonna make some more. I'm not gonna videotape the entire thing and talk. And I know that if I'm gonna continue filming, filming I'm just gonna start rambling about nothing important. So uh, thank you for watching and I will uh, hopefully post them, you know, some tutorials soon.